Welcome back guys. In this video, I'm going to explain you what is the best setting for rank math. So you do not have all these errors in your search console account and your website will have better SEO. So let's go and make the best settings in rank math plugin. Rank math is a very popular plugin and you are all requesting me to cover this video. So let's go and set the best setting for rank math SEO plugin. Once you like the video, subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. So guys, make sure first thing you are in advanced mode. If you stay on easy mode, you will not see a lot of option in rank math plugin. So make sure you are advanced mode. Select this option. And then the first thing you need to do is you need to go here on general settings. So click here on general settings. And from here in general setting, you can leave everything like this. You do not need to change anything in links, breadcrumb, webmaster tools, others, nothing. You need to leave everything how it comes to you. They are the best settings. There's one thing to mention here. You can use this option strip category based if you want to make your URLs looking good. For example, the by default URL will be example.com slash category slash my category any category you have on your website but if you enable this option this word category will be gone from the urls so this is a nice option if you want to make your website URLs readable or easy to remember for the people but honestly it doesn't do a lot of change in the website it's a personal choice it will not improve or decrease the seo of your website but if you want to have clean urls beautiful urls you can use this option strip category base okay the interesting thing comes here in titles and meta so click on titles and meta Okay, here this is really important. We are on global matter now. So make sure here this option is checked on index. You should not check no index option on your website. If you do not have a blog website, your website is a business website, make sure you check the no archive option because this is important for the blog website or news website. If you have a blog website, keep it unchecked. Only index should be checked. Then rest everything you can leave like this here. And this option should be checked for every kind of website. No index, empty categories and tag archives. If you will not check this option, you will have the error of discovered currently not index or crawled currently not index in your Google search console account. So make sure you enable this option. And then everything else you can leave like this. Just one thing here, click on authors. If you have multiple authors on your website, you need to keep this option enabled. But if you don't have multiple authors on your website, you have blog website, but just one author, it's not important. Just disable this option. Or if you have a business site, keep this option disabled. This is important because if you enable this, the author page will be created. And when you have no information on the author page, Google can also mark that page to call currently not index page. And the next thing is missed pages. So guys, on this page, make sure you scroll the page and then check this option, no index search result. This is really important. If you don't enable this option, your search pages will be crawled by Google. And what will happen? You will see the error of no index pages and you have search pages there in your search console report so make sure you enable this option and this another option no index page is single pages you should enable this option if your website has listing of multiple pages for example you have business website or you have e-commerce website and somebody go to the second page of a search result and we do not want that page to be indexed on google because usually they have the same url for example this is my website i have products which are related to soccer and i have two pages three pages four pages because i have multiple products on my website and they will all have same URL, just in the end, the first page will have URL 1, second page will have 2, and so what will happen, Google will mark that as duplicate content. So make sure you disable this option, and then you enable this option, no index, password protective pages. If you have some pages on your website which are password protected, you enable this option, and then click on save changes. And guys, these are the best settings, even if you already have rank math plugin working on your website, just cross verify from this video if you're using these options or not. And then there's the important thing here, you see the post types here. So post a post pages attachments and then you see from here WP TB tables landing pages voting contest poll products element header for double duck so anything which is other than post pages attachments and then products you need to disable for example element header and builder it is a post type created by a plugin on my website and make sure when you have something like this post type you disable that post type to be crawled by Google. So when you click here, you see this option, no index, just check on no index. So anything else, if you can see they are created a post type, you should disable that option. So this is really important guys, category and tags. You should always index your categories, but you should never index your tags. They got a lot of errors on your website. I created a detailed video about it. I will add the link in description. So for tags, you should always keep it no index. Some people say, okay, no, you should keep the tags enabled. But honestly, with my experience, you should always disable tags. If you want to watch a detailed video about the difference between category and tag, I will add the link in description. That is a very informational video I created explaining the difference between categories and tags and why you should not submit the tags to Google search engine. Same thing, product categories and tags. 
Product ID is already gonna be indexed, but for tags, make sure you use the no index option here. And once done, click on save changes. Okay, then we'll go to sitemap settings. In sitemap setting, make sure images in sitemap. And I hope you are adding all tags on your images and you're writing the proper all tags there. For example, you add a picture on your blog website where you explain the best healthy food suite. So you should have all tag there, which says healthy foods to eat. And that is really good thing for SEO. So make sure image in sitemap is checked there and you're already adding the alt text on your images. And then STM sitemap, you can leave this option. You really don't need this option. And then post pages, you can leave everything like this, including sitemap, attachment same, WTB tables, make sure you do not enable this option because this is again created by a plugin I'm using website. You can see this is the plugin here. It creates the table on the pages. So I don't want this particular tables or this content to be included in sitemap. Same thing, I'll do voting contest. I will keep this disabled. Post the same thing, I'll keep it disabled because this is another functionality website. For products, I'll make sure it is included in sitemap. Element header photo builder, I'll exclude. So anything which is not a page, which is a functionality website and created by a plugin, custom post type, you should not include that option in sitemap of your website. Same with taxonomies, categories, make sure categories are included in the sitemap. Do not enable this option because if they empty category, we don't want the category to be added into the sitemap. We don't want Google to crawl that page and find nothing on the page. So make sure include empty terms is disabled. If you include them, we have a lot of error of crawl currently not index or discovered currently not index or in some cases duplicate content also. And tags, make sure you do not include them in sitemap. Same with product categories, make sure they're included in sitemap. And then product tags, they should not be included in sitemap. Then click on save changes. And then your instant indexing, I created this complete video how you can index your website post within a few hours on Google and ranking top, but they're only applicable to the news website or time sensitive topics. For example, if you posted a job on your website pages that this job to be filled in like certain time. So that kind of blog post or that kind of pages can be indexed in Google very fast by using instant indexing feature. I got a complete video. I'll add the link in description. Go and check that video. That's very information video guys. You can learn so much things about instant indexing API from Google. And then we have role manager, SEO analyzer. They're not setting their report. So we're going to leave everything like this. And I recommend to watch this small playlist on the screen to rank first on Google and have the best SEO for your website. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. We are very close to reach 20,000 subscribers on this channel. Thank you so much. See you in another video.